why I'm kind of starting to get hyped up for season two mech sets. Now let's just quickly run down. We first got introduced to mechs back in 2010 and 2012, as mechs were starting to become a Lego sort of thing that they enjoyed making. Starting off with sort of Bionicle having these Technic parts, and then Ninjago in 2012 following with a mech design, using parts from basically uh, that other brand sets. Uh, I, for I forgot its name. Oh, Bionicle, sorry. And using sort of same similarity ideas, we were able to transform that into a Lego Ac Bricks mech, which became the Samurai X mech. And throughout the last several years in Ninjago, they've enjoyed the mechs. And they've even developed a bike and mech set for Ninjago and Marvel. Something that they're really able to push out really positively, and I'm very happy Lego knows how to do these mechs really well. Mechs are a very complicated build, and yes, I will admit, I've struggled in the past building mechs. But I really love how these new modern mechs are made. With new joints and new articulation, over the last several years, they've gotten better. Take, for example, Sora's transforming mech. I have to say, if anyone hates it, please walk out, get out of this video, because it's an amazing set. We never thought we could ever see something like this in 2012, and now we have something. This is so why I'm not concerned about Sora is having Sora having a mech next season. Even if it is um, just a downgrade, I'll still be pleased with it. You can obviously keep one at one uh, as the bike and one as a mech, another one as mech with this new season. But it'd be just cool to see how Sora upgrades as if she gets basically a mech every wave of sets. I would think that's a really cool idea as. Sora is a technology character. She is able to build stuff. I'm very excited for this for several reasons, but now you know why. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are hyped too. Peace out.